Nokonoshima is a small island located in Hakata Bay, the closest island to Fukuoka City. Just under 4 square kilometers in size, it has a population of just over 700 people. If you love the feeling of warm ocean breeze in your hair, eating fresh seafood, exploring small towns, or spending time in a national park, Nokonoshima Island is one of the best places to spend a free day in Fukuoka City. Hey guys, how's it going today? It is very, very beautiful outside and Tatsu and I are at the Meiohama Passenger Ferry Terminal. It's those words, I'm not sure if it's in the right order, but something like that. Uh, we are just getting ready to hop on a ferry over to Noko Island. Um, Noko Island or Noko no Shima is a very, very beautiful little island. It's one of the easiest islands to get to from Fukuoka City if you're looking for a day trip or a way to spend a beautiful sunny day in Fukuoka City. We're gonna grab some lunch, we're gonna go check out the park, and I'll show you how to get there and how to get back, and hopefully by the time you come visit Fukuoka yourself, you'll have the confidence to make this trip for yourself. Round trip tickets to Nokonoshima cost 460 yen, and can easily be purchased at the ticketing machine. Don't worry if you can't speak Japanese. The machine offers written translations in English, Chinese, and Korean. Just be careful you don't misplace your return ticket on the way back. The ferry between the island and the mainland runs once every hour. But if you happen to miss it, you can hire a water taxi to send you to the island for only 500 yen, or $5 instead. You see a lot of uh, small islands over yeah. there, and then we're gonna hit uh, the biggest, the closest one over there mm -hmm. uh, by the ferry. Yep. It takes like 10 minutes, yeah. I think. Um, yeah, that's it. Goodbye. Once you've set foot on the island, you can take a bus to the island park or you can explore the island on foot, stopping at one of the local cafes and restaurants to get a feel for the local culture. Because most of the shops close for business by 5pm, I recommend stopping for food first before going out and doing your exploring. Because many of the residents on the island work in the fishing industry, seafood is abundant on Nokonoshima. This restaurant, Zakko, is famous for their fresh sashimi set lunches and their fresh sashimi rice bowls. The menu at Zakko is handwritten every day based on what's in stock, and popular items sell out very quickly. When you're done exploring the harbor, hop on a bus and head to Nokonoshima Island Park for some spectacular scenic views of the city. So the bus to Nokonoshima Island Park costs about 230 yen one way and takes about 13 to 15 minutes. Um, it is a 3 kilometer uphill climb, so you might want to actually just pay and catch the bus. But if you miss the bus, you can take a taxi as well. Nokonoshima Island Park is the last stop on the bus route, so don't worry, your stop will be hard to miss. The cost to enter the park is 1,200 yen. It's a fairly large park, but it closes at 5.30 p.m., so you have to make sure that you allow yourself plenty of time to explore it. Wow! I think this is as, like, this is as clear as I've ever seen it. Honestly. How photogenic is this? A little island framed by two trees. Everything smells amazing here. Oh, snapdragons! Do you know these flowers? Welcome to Nokonoshima Island Park. 
Check the website before visiting to find out which flowers are in bloom in each season. And don't forget to bring a camera. Not only is this a very popular date spot, but it's also a really relaxing ah! getaway from the busy city life. No. You're so strong. As you walk down here, we've got an old-fashioned Japanese snack shop. Yeah, this shop specializes in old Showa 70s, 80s snacks memorabilia. I remember these. These are like those styrofoam build-your-own airplane glider things. Tatsu, did you ever use these? Do you know what this is? No. You don't? I'm so old! What did you find? I, like, I think it's a very primitive, the first version of drone uh, known as a Dryman's tool. Mm. How does it work? Like you have to... There's surprisingly quite a lot of things to see inside Nokonoshima Island Park and the small assortment of shops located within it do a great job at preserving an older, traditional Japanese feel. Wow! So this field, the main field, the flowers actually change depending on the season. So right now it is marigold season, which means we've got beautiful rows of orange and yellow, but um, depending on the month, it could be completely different colors, it could be completely different plants, completely different flowers. <laughs> The way this is shot, it looks like an advertisement for Nokonoshima Salty Lemon. How you choose to enjoy Nokonoshima Island Park is completely up to you. You can rent a cottage inside the park and spend the night, and even rent barbecue sets so you can have your own camping cookout. The park also has plenty of play facilities for children, making it a fun destination for all ages. Like a newborn baby deer! <laughs> you can do it! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> wow. All right, so now it is just past 5 p.m. and the park is closed. We're waiting for the last bus. The last bus leaves Nokonoshima Island Park at 5.28 p.m. That's the last bus. So if you do come here, make sure you don't miss that bus, otherwise you're paying for a taxi. Yeah, I would love to come back here like around the afternoon and do like a barbecue party with friends. Wouldn't that be fun? Like a barbecue party and everyone could come yaki their niku and we could play in the flowers and take pictures and hang out and just enjoy the scenery and look at the ocean and be perfect. One thing we sort of realized is that the last bus is almost always crowded, so if you want a seat, make sure that you line up a little bit earlier than later. Although most of the island closes to the public around 5 or 6 p.m., the last ferry from the island isn't until around 10 o'clock at night. If the weather is in your favor, you can stay on the island long enough to watch the sunset or even catch a beautiful night view of Fukuoka City. It's up to you. We're grabbing the 6 o'clock ferry back to the mainland. How are you feeling? It's cold. Yeah. It was warm and it's actually like a lot more exercise than you would think. We did a lot of walking. Say must go. Please be brave. Yeah. To go out, sit by outside, and try to explore whatever you can find in Fukuoka. Yeah. That's my message. There's lots of cool stuff to do in Fukuoka. Come check out Nokonoshima. Come check out Fukuoka. Yay. Come be our friend. Be our neighbor. All right. Goodbye. This video was funded by our supporters on Patreon, who are helping us create informative videos about Southern Japan. 
Check the link in the description if you're interested in becoming part of our team. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, if you want to see more of this type of video, please subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up, and just let us know you're here, let us know you're watching and that this is the kind of thing you're interested in. Alright, I hope you're having a nice day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!